right, that was the um, arpeggio study in C, number three, by Stanley Yates in the Mel Bay's Classical Guitar Method, grade one. I'm making this video for some students. I think I have somewhere between 10 or 15 young players playing this piece for the National Federation of Music Clubs Festival happening soon. This piece is one of the possible primary class two classical guitar solo pieces um, to be judged. They have to memorize it, um, hope to perform it almost flawlessly, and um, I expect that they all will. So let's walk through this. Um, it's pretty simple chord study. It's an arpeggio study. So you are playing chords one note at a time. You are arpeggiating the chord. Um, the noun form is to arpeggio the arpeggio to arpeggiate, to play in the style of a harp. So you could play this piece if you wanted to practice the left hand. You could play the chords. That would be a good way maybe to memorize, focus on the left hand, and then focus on the right hand. I like P-I-M-I. -I. I believe that um, the score may, um, the editor may recommend A. Um, I think it depends on your hand size, natural inclinations, but for me, P-I-M-I -I work very well. This of course has to be free stroke. Um, if you did rest stroke, it would just feel incredibly awkward and you would end up muting some harmonies. So the whole thing is free stroke. I have my students um, practice left or right hand first. A lot of them uh, may not have done more than one or two fingers free stroke before. So spending some time with the, the motion of the right hand is definitely valuable. I work on flexion of the MCP joint. It's getting pretty technical. Um, I try to discuss all the benefits of not uh, extending that joint when you play. It doesn't produce the best sound possible. It limits your speed later on. So um, flexing that joint is the best way possible. This could be a good uh, right hand flexion study. this proximal digit, the phalange closest to the joint, making sure it moves towards the palm. Um, I'm getting super technical here, but I do work on this with my students. It's kind of an advanced thing. And if you, if you end up playing the other way around for, for years, it's gonna be a habit that you may not be able to break. So that's a right hand consideration. It's not too technical. I always stays on G the entire time. Um, P and M have some movement to do, but it's a good proprioception study too, just moving the thumb one string, maybe moving M one string also. As far as the left hand goes, it's a good uh, preparation piece. So you never have to use more than two fingers at a time. You start with three on the low C. You can be preparing F at that time. While you're playing this measure, Prepare two and four. So don't use two and three. Um, these two pull each other close together. This is sort of the, the natural arrangement of tendons in the hand. They pull themselves close together. So oops, when you get to that point and you're preparing this next chord, two and four fall right on the sweet spots in the fret. So if you drop two and three, with a straight, with a healthy straight wrist, that finger three is not gonna be anywhere near the fret, unless you do an unhealthy bend. And don't make this habit, it'll, it'll get you later on. So straight wrist, preparing two and four, preparing three. Now when you get to the B, it's the same. Two and four are right there on the sweet spots with the healthy wrist. Hard written at that dominant G, but 
I just like to do it. Repping one, repping two and four. Repping one, repping three. Repping two and four. I'm playing this kind of fast. It's eighth notes in the score. Um, I don't believe there's a tempo marking. So I've had students play. Perfectly lovely. Steady tempo. If you want to put some dynamic contrast or tone color changes in there, would make it a lot more exciting. I'm sure the judge would like to hear that. All right, if you are playing this piece and you have questions, please contact me. Um, if you're not playing this piece, um, play it, it's pretty. <laughs> it's a great beginner piece. It's the most popular piece for that class in the, the Federation of all my students. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and um, see you next time.